Mr. President, I rise today to express my deepest sympathies and offer steadfast support to the countless Tennesseans who have experienced tragedy in the recent days. It's been a rough few weeks in our great state. Last week, my hometown of Chattanooga lost six young children in a tragic school bus crash. And today, countless East Tennesseans face a long road ahead after severe storms and tornadoes ripped through Southeast Tennessee, leaving tremendous damage and taking the lives of two individuals in Polk County. Tomorrow morning, I'll be in another area of our state that is dealing with unimaginable, unimaginable tragedy. As you have likely seen by now, the damage caused by wildfires in Sevier County, a place where my wife was raised, is heartbreaking. While officials continue to assess the full extent of the damage, we know that many have suffered tremendous loss. As of this morning, officials concern that they are still addressing the remnants of smoldering wildfires. More than 400 firefighters are supporting the effort. The exact number of structures affected remains unknown, but local officials are estimating that 700 impacted structures and more than 17,000 acres have burned. More than 200 individuals remain in shelters, and just moments ago we learned that 10 fatalities have been confirmed. Sevier County is a special place surrounded by some of the country's most beautiful God-given amenities. Millions of people from around the world visit each year and have built memories in this treasured community. But as the mayor of Gatlinburg noted earlier today, it's not the attractions or the restaurants that make this special. It's the pe make this place special. It's the people who live there. So many wonderful families call Sevier County home. Tough, proud people whose roots in the area span generations. Those who know the area, these people, are not at all surprised by the community response. The nation has watched and read countless stories of selfless individuals. Many who lost everything themselves are helping others. You have watched the mayor and the city manager of Gatlinburg, who both lost their own homes, provide steadfast strength and grace. And you have watched the Sevier County mayor close each press conference with the simplest request. Pray for us. The coming days and weeks and months will not be easy. The recovery will take time. We are committed to doing everything that we all can do to help you rebuild. The support does not end when the cameras leave. Governor Haslam, Senator Alexander, Congressman Rowe, and I will are ready to support requests for assistance for the recovery efforts. People throughout Tennessee and across the nation will be back to visit very soon. And of course, as has been requested, we will continue to pray. Mr. President, I yield the floor.